Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through the charts that we are seeing right now on Bitcoin and the resistance that we are currently up against. But do the bulls have the strength to get through this resistance and push on for much higher levels? And I want to be starting off the video with reviewing my last few trades, which does include a loss. So I think this is a good one to go through for educational reasons. Uh, so yeah, I want to start off by going through the loss and then moving on to what's happening right now. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for what's happening right now. But let's start off by reviewing uh, the last loss that I took here uh, on the Bitcoin chart. And that was off of the back of, we had the move up, obviously, Thursday evening. And on Thursday evening, while we were sat around here, I was making a live stream saying I was, you know, I was looking for higher prices. I wouldn't recommend shorting here. And that went out really well because we did push up for those higher prices. In the end, topping out at around $11,626. From there, we got a pullback and another attempt and moved back down. This is the way that I traded it and how it led to a loss. I originally shorted 11,000, basically $11,600. And that was on the move up here, managing to catch the short on the high of the upper wick. Basically, I was still looking for higher prices. I was still looking for another push to the upside. But what I like to do is essentially, instead of just, you know, because this is unlikely that it just goes straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. What I wanted to do was short take this back down to support flip that short into a long to trade up again for higher prices okay so that was my idea i'm not just going to be holding on to the position all the time thinking here we go we're off to the moon no i trade sensibly short long and then we'll we'll cover the loss as it comes uh so yeah that that's the original getting into my thought process slow it down a bit so you can take the educational side of this so eleven thousand six hundred was my first short position uh come across to this <laughs> on top of the market lately i felt good when i was taking that short and then i hit my take profit two on this trade so i did close out of this short and i went into a long position here and this is this is the losing trade so i switched that short into a long basically what i was looking for was a butterfly harmonic pattern so i had recognized that we had got our low high and basically what i was looking for here was for this to have been the low and then for us to push on for another another wave to the upside so i actually switched into a long position at 11 basically 11,500, and i had my stop loss below the low because my idea was okay this long lower wick is going to be our low and we're going to push on higher here obviously i got this wrong i'm trading probabilities and i acknowledge i can always be wrong in the market there's there's never a hundred percent guarantee that's why you put a stop loss that's why you put an invalidation and as you can see uh my stop loss got hit overnight so my entry was 11,492 i got stopped out 11,436 dollars obviously an absolutely devastating loss for myself because my my win streak was over but uh you know that was the loss that i took uh trying to well long this wick so my long was off of uh well trading it the invalidation off of that long lower wick <clears throat> Obviously, my entry was here, and in the end, it come up a little bit, didn't hit any take profits, and it just come down to hit my stop loss. And obviously, we saw ourselves once again back at the low of our range, which was obviously the value area low. As you know, we've been trading this range, $11,250, up to around the highs where we, we're, we're hitting around now, by the way. Uh, but this range is still really, really nice. And this is what we mean. You know, I can honestly say I was completely unaffected by that loss, <laughs> completely unaffected by the loss. And I just go on to the next trade. I'm looking for what's the next highest probability trades. So I'm acknowledging there's never 100%, but I always acknowledge that I can get the highest probabilities. So I'm more likely to win than I am lose. So my brain, instead of getting, you know, instead of getting upset by the loss, it's a part of the game. You have to take losses. Otherwise, you can't take wins, essentially. Um, and I was looking for the next trade, which for me, uh, which for me was the next long position. Okay, that was a long off of, well, surprise, surprise, the low of our range, $11,232. You also had the bullish divergences. So basically, I'm going for the range trade again. Long in the low of the range, as you can see here on the really clear on the one hour chart, there was like zero closes below the level. You had the long lower wick, you had the long lower wick here, you had your bullish divergences. That for me was back into the long position, aiming for $11,475. Okay, we can see it moves along a little bit. Other people doing really good trades in the meantime. Trade the range till it breaks. That is our motto here. And um, da -da 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 -da, trying to update to where we are. Here we are. This is what this is what we get rewarded by trading the range. As you can see, hitting that um, 
$11,439. And then I actually switched this into a short position a little while ago at basically my target, $11,475. Uh, $11,475. And that has now hit my take profit one, which was $11,425. And now obviously we are bouncing off of that. And uh, I will show you this. So this this was all done, by the way, in the in a champions uh, and contenders uh, live stream that I done. Okay, mm -hmm. so this was so that, a that contenders was and champions live stream on. Uh, this would have been Friday night, and uh, I think I might have already. Depends on how I edit this. Attach a, a few segments of this live stream into the video. Actually, trading the range has been the best um, best way to trade this. So if you are still wondering i am still in the long from earlier uh that long obviously i managed to get eleven thousand two hundred and thirty two. i can talk you through this one um obviously i like to differentiate my public live streams between the like member live streams so in the members live streams i'll give you the full rundown of the trade how i got into it and then like any questions you have uh, you know i'll be more than happy to help you with it Whereas on the on the public live streams, I don't really like to go into so much detail, to be honest. <laughs> but um, you come up to around eleven thousand four hundred and seventy. But you see, this is like natural, you know, overthink. Um, just so you can see, you know, how lovely this prediction was. But really, what you can see here is the CC here. T take a note of the CC: eleven thousand two hundred and sixty-three dollars being the low of the CC. And obviously, I'm looking up for that target around eleven thousand seven hundred, eleven thousand four hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's obviously where I got into that short position this morning. And if we load up the chart, go on to the fifteen minute. I hope this is not too confusing, by the way. <laughs> but basically, what we can see is the rejection to the absolute high of the upper wick. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And also that harmonic that I was predicting, well, played out pretty perfectly. It well. The, 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 the time of it took longer, but we bounced off of $11,263. And obviously we came up to $11,475. $11, so we got the low and a high of this one. Pretty nice. Obviously a little bit extended in time. So that then leaves us to what, what we're looking at now. Well, I think it's pretty clear, in my opinion. <laughs> what we got is this Fibonacci channel resistance, which is coming in. Basically, basically now eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Obviously, the more you extend in time, the higher that gets. So it's about eleven thousand five hundred resistance, and then you've got a support flip, obviously of resistance back into support around eleven thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. This is why I was hitting my take profit on the short position, because that is support now. Uh, so I think locally, that's that's exactly what you got going on. Support eleven thousand four hundred around eleven thousand four hundred seventeen. Then the resistance eleven thousand five hundred to eleven thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars. That's the local range that I'm trading now, anyway. Um, and I think you just got to trade it sensibly. You got to make sure you're taking profits. <laughs> you want to make sure one hundred percent you're not looking for shorts at the bottom of the range because that's just suicide. Um, Generally, what one does is look for shorts, look for longs, okay, and then you can get little sub ideas within the within the chart. Obviously, like your harmonic patterns. Obviously, the butterfly didn't play out, but then my Gartley did play out. So you got some winners, some losers, but overall, you know, obviously net profit, all's good. <laughs> and um, you know, we're looking for the next trade. Which for me, yeah, you've got that little mini range, and these are the mini ranges that we like. Really, between eleven thousand five hundred and I want to say eleven thousand five hundred. Eleven thousand five hundred and sixty, eleven thousand five hundred and sixty to around eleven thousand four hundred. Okay, because that's that's going to be your order block coming in there, eleven thousand three hundred and eighty. So I would say eleven three eighty to around eleven five sixty. Okay, so that's kind of the range that one could envision envision today. Obviously, if you break the higher the range, it's more bullish. Break back into the lower the range, that's that's obviously a bit more bearish. But the momentum this morning is with the bulls. Um, so you know that that the. the it's on the bears to really show up here. I took a short to try and <laughs> to try and defend, which we managed to defend that high. Uh, but you know, it's not got massive follow through. It's it's a bit low volume today. I'm not expecting anything massive. But um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty content with 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 how it's trading out. Obviously, a uh, little plug to end. If you want to do the live trading streams with me tonight, that is obviously going from technical analysis from scratch, building the bridge between charting and trading trading on live stream so to in tonight's live stream for the champions i'll be going over the entries the stop losses the take profits and the reason for the trade so i'm going to be giving the whole trade setup and the reasons why i'm using the tools why i'm using the technical analysis so you can understand how i you know foresee trades like this almost to the lows and highs to the exact dollar 
uh, you know, all predicted and, and called in advance and also traded, put money on the line. And that's what we're doing tonight, putting real Bitcoin money on the line and, and taking the trades. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can sign up for Chart Champions and uh, I'll see you in the Champions live stream tonight. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I've taught you through a few of the trades, the loss, and then how we turn that into a win and the current range that I'm actually foreseeing going on now on the Bitcoin chart. So I hope that, hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, and obviously I've shown you the, the potential Gartley harmonic pattern that you also have in this chart. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.